Hello everyone and welcome to a very highly requested foundation review. I don't know if some big beauty guru or something recently did a review of this stuff or what, but I feel like I've been flooded with comments recently about please try the milk makeup skin tint thingy mabobber and I mean... Okay. <laughs> I think Sephora started carrying milk in stores. I don't think it's just an online thing, but even if this was in stores, I don't think I would be able to get a sample of this because it is a rollerball foundation, yes. As far as I know, Milk is a fairly new brand and from what I can tell, it's kind of like a urban chic type of a brand or that's what they're going for. Their thing is that it's supposed to be for girls who spend less time getting their makeup done or doing their makeup and more time actually going out and doing things in the world. So I mean that's cool. Their products are also cruelty free and I'm pretty sure they're all vegan. This one definitely is vegan so that's awesome. You know they're using good nice ingredients but before I butcher any claims or anything about the company or the product let's go ahead let's hop onto Sephora's website and read a little bit about this foundation. So like I said this is the Milk Makeup Sunshine Skin Tint with SPF of 30. You get 0.7 ounces of product compared to the typical one ounce that you get in foundations and it will set you back $42 so it's pretty steep. It only comes in eight shades so it ranges from fair over to deep. The deep doesn't look terribly deep if you ask me but who knows maybe it's different in person but it seems like this is geared towards people with light to medium skin tones and by medium I would say it's pretty medium looking but I wouldn't say it goes from light to deep or anything. What this is, it's a weightless, preservative-free liquid foundation that hydrates the skin while providing buildable, natural-looking coverage and SPF of 30. It's going to be natural-looking, radiant, buildable. It's infused with a blend of avocado, mandarin, grapeseed, and olive oil, so it sounds super hydrating. The packaging is antimicrobial, which is awesome in the rollerball, and that rollerball glides onto the skin for quick, mess-free, on-the-go use with no brushes being needed. For a full face, two to three clicks of the push button will provide the perfect amount of skin tint and then you can adjust as needed to reach your desired coverage. So to use it, you press the bottom button to dispense foundation onto the glass rollerball tip, then rollerball directly to the skin and blend with your fingertips. And then they're just pimping out more of their products. So yeah, I think that's about it. I'm a bit nervous to try this out just because it is something so different. I have never applied a rollerball to my face but they're first time for everything, right? Let's just sing the song together and then we can get on into testing this out. Let's test, let's test, hot mess or the best. I don't know if I said, but I got the shade Fair. So this comes in a little test tube-esque bottle, AKA the worst thing for someone with chunky acrylic nails like I have. Um, should've brought a tweezers in here. Teeth also work. So. Here it is. Look at the rollerball. Be scared with me. I'm so nervous. But that's okay. We can do this. Oh, first off. Okay. Whew. Whew. I'm all over the place. We'll get you zoomed in and I can tell you my typical spiel with the added, yes, my hair is wet. I just got back from the gym. So I showered. This isn't sweat, but with foundation reviews, if you're new to my channel, I do use a primer on my pre-wash and moisturized face. I just like to give the foundation the best chance possible of staying on my very oily skin. If you need a primer, there you go. If you don't, congratulations, I am jealous. But yeah, I also, you know, it's just to eliminate as many independent variables as possible. I use a primer, so there you go. And also typically I wear my glasses for foundation reviews. I will do that later. I just was wearing my contacts at the gym and then right now I'm planning on filming a couple other videos and so I just, sometimes it's better to film without glasses on. So now we can do this. This will never be clean again. So let's cherish it, shall we? And feels like a nice little swirly marble in there. <laughs> okay, so I want you guys to see this with me. Click. I assume you're gonna need to do a few clicks to get this started. <laughs> I don't feel like that's doing anything. Am I not clicking hard enough? I'm like 
break it, my goodness. It just says to press the button. I am pressing, but... Oh, oh, did we hear air? Is that a good thing? <gasps> oh, oh, yes! <laughs> so there we go, we got some. So one, oh, it looks like a pretty little flower. I love it. It'll probably never look that good again, but oh, oh, it's so cute. I don't want to disturb it. Let's just look at how cute that is. Oh, oh. Can we stamp a little flower on just for fun? Okay, that's not as cute. <laughs> Get the hair out of my face and then... Whee! Oh, it looks kind of chunky. Right? No? Boop -a boop I feel like it smells really like citrusy. Okay, so I don't technically know how many pumps that was, but they said fingertips. Feels very pasty or tacky. I don't. I don't really know. Um. Um. I feel like it's looking better on camera than it does in real life. Maybe this just wasn't my shade. The swatches online were really hard to tell which shade I needed. If I needed fair or if I needed light. But since we're going into the winter months, I figured I would err on the side of caution. Hey! Hey! Hello! <laughs> what do you think, Fig? How's it look? Do you like it? Yes? No? It definitely smells good. It's like a citrusy foundation smell. So, I mean, I don't think it looks terrible with my finger blending. It doesn't look great in my nose crease, but the rest of it looks pretty solid. It looks really like a light, light coverage. So I guess one, look at that. so cute. It does come out like a flower every time. Let's try it with two clicks. I know, I know. Let's dare to do this. Uh, this oh, is just always gonna look really dirty and gross, isn't it? Eh. Oh well. I mean, that just like looks chunky, right? <laughs> okay, well, just for fun, I'm gonna try and blend this out with a brush. Let's see if application is a bit nicer. I mean, I think it's great if, like, you know, your fingers are an option, but I personally enjoy using brushes and whatnot, so yeah, I just feel like that blended out so much more quickly and effortlessly, right? I also think it looks better in my nose pores, so. See that? Maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> um, okay. We're learning as we go here. So I don't know, I'm gonna do another click just to see if we can build it up. I feel like my nose still looks a little red. And just smear the extra on there. And there. Oh, apparently there was a lot more extra than I thought there was. <laughs> So capping that back up, and this time I'm going to try blending it out with a sponge. So yeah, I would say definitely buildable coverage with this stuff, which is awesome. I think the finish looks pretty uh, dewy and whatnot. It still feels a bit tacky, so I can't quite comment on the texture yet. Just to kind of cover up my under eyes, I am going to go ahead and put on a very light concealer under there just to try and brighten things up a little and make it look like I got a bit more sleep than I actually did. Yay! Okay, I feel much better now. <laughs> there it is. What do you guys think? Does it look okay? Yeah? 
maybe. And there it is from far away. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on the rest of my makeup and hopefully my hair will be dried and done by that time as well. But in any case, I will see you all in just a second here on YouTube land. Ready? Ding! All right, you guys, so here we go. Here is the foundation. It's actually been a while. It's been about an hour and a half, two hours here. Just to meet in the middle, we'll say it's been an hour and 45 minutes. I have just been filming some other videos here, one of which I am so excited. I don't know which you're gonna be seeing first, but I'm doing a hacker hoax on fixing dried out mascara with contact solution, and I'm pretty sure that is a for sure hack. I'm so excited. <laughs> but yeah, the foundation looks good, feels good. I haven't been doing anything like strenuous. I've just been sitting here in front of the camera, but I think it looks good. I mean, I think my translucent powder definitely make it set and everything. I think the overall texture of it is good. I think it looks like a good medium buildable coverage type of a foundation. It doesn't look super dewy or anything, just kind of a nice satin, maybe even like a semi-matte. I mean, aside from my nose crease, I think it looks good in my nose pores and everything. And overall, I just, I think it looks really nice. No! Don't lick off the foundation. Don't you do it. Hey, don't you do it. So I will also go ahead and insert a flash photo here so that you can see whether or not the foundation looks good with the flash on for people who are in flash photography often. I haven't taken the photo yet, so you'll have to tell me how does it look good, bad, and different. But yeah, I think that's about it for me for now. I am just gonna do some more YouTube stuff. I'm like trying to get all prepped for my trip to London and Paris in the upcoming week here. I think it's like nine days away or something, the trip. I'm so excited. Excited. So I'm just trying to get tons of videos pre-recorded and edited and everything so for you guys It'll feel like I'm not even gone. I'm gonna get some of that done and then it's everybody's favorite time of the week It is my weekly dinner and trash TV night with my mom So I'm just gonna be going over hanging out with her doing some cross stitch watching some awful TV Then I'm gonna come back home and get some more work done and then we will have the final check-in and everything as always I'm just excited to take you guys along with me see how this sunshine skin tint rollerball magic foundation does. We'll see how it holds up on my very oily skin. I will do my typical few hour check-in from now and as always I'll just see you all at the very end of the night as well. So I'll see you all soon. Bye! <laughs> It is currently 1.49 in the morning. Didn't mean to stay up this late, but uh, you know, when you are preparing for your trip to Europe in the next week here, I gotta work before I can play. You know what I mean? So, a-okay. That's just what I've been doing since I got home the past few hours here is editing, so there really hasn't been much of a change in my foundation, but speaking of that, let's take a closer look. I'm pretty sure I like this one, you guys. Here it is, up close and personal. I feel like it looks good, right? Like, I feel like it still has the same kind of coverage and stuff. It didn't do too, too well under my glasses, but like, it didn't turn into a terrible streaky, icky mess. 
I think the only thing I don't really like is it in my nose crease. Okay, I don't know. I just took a closer look at myself. Maybe I don't like the way it wore around my nose in particular. Like, it's really, my redness and stuff is showing through and I feel like my nose looks a bit flaky. Maybe I, I really should have done a closer look earlier, huh? <laughs> but, I mean... Oh, now I'm conflicted, because I like the way it looks on my forehead and stuff, but uh, my nose and chin are what's making me kind of like, ugh, because it clearly wore off in those spots. So poop, I don't know you guys, you'll have to let me know how you think this one looks on me. Now I am very conflicted. I mean, I was impressed for the most part when you touch your face throughout the day, it doesn't come off too, too much. Like there's a very little bit that you can see coming off on your fingers if you do get oily like I do. But other than that, I felt like it was fairly transfer resistant. You know, it didn't come off on my blotting sheets or anything. It's really, really lightweight. Like I really don't feel like I have foundation on at the moment at all and it's really silky soft on the skin like my skin it kind of feels like a baby doll you know like can't think of what they're actually like what brand or anything but you know you get a baby doll and it's like that silicone plastic kind of a feeling it's nice it's very soft and smooth I like it You guys, like I said, should let me know what you think of the foundation, how you think it looks on me, how you think it held up and everything so I can decide whether or not I want to keep this one. But yeah, if anything, as always, I just hope the review was helpful and enjoyable for you to see whether or not this is a foundation that you're going to want to try out for yourself. If it was, please do go ahead and give me a thumbs up down below. I would really appreciate it. And if you're new here, Hey, hi, hello, how are you? You can go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more content from me in the future. I'd love to have you here. And as always, I just hope you guys are all doing well. And until next time, just stay well until then. Bye.